It isn't an everyday occurrence that someone working in Illustrator is handed Microsoft Word documents, though it is becoming more common. More and more businesses are realizing the importance of not only superb typography in their illustrations and designs, but also of having professional copywriters and editors review text prior to it being put in illustrations and designs. Writers and editors, of course, typically work in the emperor of word processors, Microsoft Word. So the day may come when you find yourself handed Word documents for text that belongs in Illustrator. Rather than copying and pasting, you can place those Word docs directly into Illustrator. Open Sample Giving Guide Start and move down to the lower artboard, the outside of the brochure. On the File menu, choose Place, which is also how you import linked PSD files and other raster images. Word docs, however, won't be linked. Their content is instantly embedded upon import. Choose the Word document Sample Giving Guide Copy DOCX from this module's lesson files and click Place. Up should pop the Microsoft Word Options dialog. It's a simple affair with simple settings. Illustrator wants to know what it should do with a few special features that might be in the Word document. If the document contains Table of Contents text, which links within Word to specific numbered page locations of text, should Illustrator bring it in or discard it? If you leave that option checked, note that you'll likely have to edit the page numbers. Similarly, do you want Illustrator to bring in index text, the third option? Neither will it be live hyperlinks anymore as they are in Word. They'll simply come in as static plain text. Footnotes and endnotes, too, may be included or excluded during place. Finally, do you want to bring in text formatting, such as bold and italics and other basic formatting? If so, click OK. If not, check the box beside Remove Text Formatting before clicking OK. That will bring the text in as plain text. You won't have any bold, you won't have any italics, you won't have any colors. Once you have clicked OK, you'll get a loaded cursor. Click and drag to define an area type object exactly as you did when you had a loaded cursor while threading. The copy, the text, from that Word doc belongs in the empty space in the lower half of Artboard Outside. The content of the Word document is now on your Artboard, but not linked in any way to the original Word file on your computer. You could delete that Word file if you wanted to. The text can be formatted and worked with just like something you typed directly in Illustrator.